am going to open up my very first My Little Pony collectible game card and learn about them. So if I pronounce anything wrong, you will know why. Again, this is the outside package. And when I, let's see here, pull this up, open it up, pull it out, and I have another package that says the same thing, just is very shiny, and it has collectible game card. So let me open this up back here and see what we have inside. Inside we have lightning dust. Let's see if you can get a better shot of that so you can really check her out. Love in the eyelashes. Check out those. Those are pretty fierce. And she is a troublemaker. It says troublemaker here. When this card is uncovered, you may move it to another problem. And underneath it says, Lightning dust doesn't exactly mean to cause trouble, but she still leaves a path of destruction in her wake. So there you have it. There is the fancy lightning dust with her fabulous eyelashes. Next we have, let's see who this is. He looks, they look pretty proud. Camelot Archive Guard, literate lookout. And it says, friend, unicorn, main phase. Retire this card to move all other characters at its problem home. Characters can't be moved or played to that problem for the rest of the turn. Luckily, the Camelot Archives closing time doesn't apply to the personal protege of Princess Celestia. Celesta? Celestia. Again, new to this, forgive me with my pronunciations. Camelot Archive Guard. Literate Lookout. Pretty cool. Not a foil though, I have to say. Not too much shininess going on, but cute nonetheless. Then we have, let's see what we have here. Snails. Deep Thinker. Underneath, Friend Unicorn. Bull. And then it says, Main Phase. Exhaust this card. While this card is exhausted, your opponent needs plus two to confront this card's problem. I think so, Snips, but Burlap chafes me so. So there you have Snails, the Deep Thinker. Pretty cute, I have to say. And then we have, oh boy, am I going to pronounce this right? Let's check it out. It is Zakora. Zakora, the Magical Mentor. Love the earring. Check out the earring, some necklace action going on. Friend, Zebra we all want zebras. Supportive, one. Plus one power while at a problem with your main character, main, haha, -ha, that shares a color with this card. It is my aid that you are after. I will gladly assist you to solve this disaster. Pretty cool. Oh, next we have, let's see, what's their name? Rumble. Rumble is a fast learner, loving Rumble's hairdo. So cute, I could go bananas over Rumble. And it says, friend, Pegasus, bull. Main phase, exhaust this card to move it. Rumble's big brother, Thunderlane, is one of the best flyers in Ponyville, so Rumble practices every night trying to catch up. Oh, how cute, he wants to be just like his big brother, Thunderlane. Okay, again, going bananas over Rumble, he's pretty darn cute. Next we have, let's see, who do we have here? Lemon Hearts. And underneath it says, Sweetheart. Let's read about Lemon Hearts. Friend, Unicorn, Caretaker, plus one power while at a problem with at least one of your friends. Now, if only every pony with lemon in their name was half as nice as Lemon Hearts. Mint Julep. So I guess Mint Julep said that about Lemon Hearts. Check out her fancy. Tail, and she's got cute eyelashes too, actually. Next, let's see who we have. We have Golden Harvest, Beyond Her Garden. Their one little leg up friend, Earth Pony. Stubborn, oh, she is stubborn. This card can still apply to its powers during face-offs and the score phase, even if exhausted. I've been sneaking off to Kimlock parties for years before you caught me, and I'm not about to stop now. So yes, apparently she is stubborn. So there you have it. That is Camel, sorry, Golden Harvest Beyond Her Garden. Next, let's see who we have. We have 
Sprinkle Melody, Drip Dropper. And let's see what it has to say. Friend, Pegasus, Swift. You may move this card for one fewer action tokens. I love flying in the rain and making it rain and singing in the rain and eating lunch in the rain. Admittedly, I might have a problem. Hmm, I think she might need an umbrella, it sounds like. Okay, next, ooh, oh boy, who do we have? A little dangerous looking. Red Dragon Troublemaker. At the start of your opponent's Troublemaker phase, they may pay two to turn this card face down. A huge, gigantic, terrifying, enormous, teeth gnashing, snark, sharp, scale having, horn wearing, smoke snoring, could eat a pony in one bite, totally all grown up dragon. Fluttershy. Yikes. A little bit frightened by Red Dragon. A little bit, well, not so much frightened, but troublemaker. Next we have Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot. Event Showdown. Main phase. Start a face off involving one of your friends and an opponent's friend with equal or greater power. At the end of the face off, the loser dismisses one of their friends that was involved. Seriously? Bon bon. Again, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Next we have combat hat, resource, accessory. Play on one of your friends. Your opponent must pay plus one to move a character to that friend's problem. Main phase, pay one to reattach this card to another one of your friends. Another fabulous accessory from Rarity's new collection, Frontline Fashion. Again, combat hat. And last, oil going on here, a little sparkly. Twilight Sparkle, Element of Magic. Friend, Unicorn, and it says Unique. You pay one less to play events. When you play an event, look at the top card of your deck. You may put that card on the bottom of your deck. The spark ignited inside me when I realized that you all and it is Twilight Sparkle, Element of Magic. And that is the end of my cards. Again, my very first cards. I'm so happy that you were here to share in them and experience me opening them up. And um, hopefully I will become a pro at this and learn everything I can. All right, thanks.